What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be going over what's in my bag 2022. Now if you guys don't know, I'm a portrait photographer from the Orlando. <laughs> this man's this man cracking up. <laughs> This man, this man messed me up, bro. I'm a portrait photographer from the Orlando area. I specialize in like fashion, um, you know, just general portraiture and just different types of portraiture. Even that's, it's not. <laughs> oh, why is that so hard? I do a litany of different portraitures and I mostly specialize in like fashion and just like regular general portraits. So today I just want to go over like just my main stuff and what I kind of keep in my bag on a daily basis. All right, so the first thing that I keep in my bag is my Canon R6. This right here is my favorite camera. I've been rocking with it for about like two years now. Um, definitely really good, really good build on it. I love it. I kind of chose it over the R5 just because I think it's, you know, it has a little bit of smaller files, a little more efficient, kind of works with my workflow a whole lot better. Um, definitely compact as well. And the camera body is just, just beautiful. As soon as I picked it up, I knew this was the camera I wanted to rock with. Um, I probably have a video coming up with like going more in depth on R6 later in time, so keep an eye on that. But I definitely love this camera, man. It's super efficient. Um, Canon makes my favorite types of cameras. I wear impresses for the world. All right, second essential is my first lens I ever bought, ever purchased is my 7200. It's the L series. Um, I have a, like a star filter on it right now, which is also a little bonus essential that I have in my thing. It's a star filter that I keep on top of my 7200. It really only fits this one lens in my whole bag. But this thing is a beast, man. It's a workhorse. There's everything I need to do. It has in-body stabilization. It's super efficient. Um, definitely is gonna give you like that great portraiture look. It's gonna give you that really compressed images and some cool bulk in the bag. Not as much as like an 85, but pretty good. So my newest essential is my 100 millimeter macro. This is like compatible to my Canon R6. That's the one over this one instead of like the EF lens mount because the other ones I do have to adapt over. This one's like super efficient. Like it cost me maybe about the thousand dollar range, um, but it connects straight to the camera. I can get like super close shots, super detailed shots whether I'm doing like a ring and a wedding. If I'm doing like um, headshots, if I'm doing just like anything that just needs like something really close and personal. I go with this lens. So this is one of my favorite lenses for sure. All right guys, my next essential. Some of you guys are gonna roast me in the comments. I do have a 24-105. This is uh, the original kit lens that comes in RF. It's, it's durable, man. I dropped this off a skyscraper and it's gonna survive, you feel me? So I have to keep this joint in my bag always. I always use this for my studio lenses um, and it's just super efficient, man. It does everything I needed to do. Nothing really more to say about that. Next thing, this is a necessity. You cannot do studio work without this right here. This is my modifier. I use my, like, as my universal lights, I use Godox, which if you use like alien bees, or if you use like aperture or a different type of strobe, I know some guys use like some other different types of strobes. You use a different modifier, but I use the Godox. I use the X2 TC. My universal light trigger is my Godox X2C. Um, this is for Canon because I'm Canon based. It's super efficient. I just put on top of my hot shoe right here. It works. Um, I like this one over the V1, which we have the V1 right here. The V1 is okay. Like, I think I was having problems with like my hot shoe. I think this is the X Pro C, sorry. And I was just having problems with the hot shoe before um, just because with the R6 sometimes. I think my last one is kind of like loose and I just having some problems, some problems with it. But I don't think it's the trigger itself. It's more so just the hot shoe on top. But the X-Pro is also a good option. But I use the X2 for Godox because I love Godox and that's what we use in my studio. But um, depending on what you guys have, you're gonna always need a good trigger for your studio stuff. So there's definitely next essential. Next thing I have my... <laughs> next thing I have... <laughs> The next thing that I have in my bag is my Godox Speedlight. This thing is like, you know, you're gonna need one of these when you're out in the field, bro. This zone is just, you just put on top of your camera, man. You just pull it out. It does what it needs to do, man. You put like, you can put like a mag mod or something on top of it to make it more diffused and less harsh is usually what I end up doing. I don't have one on right now. It's like super stock, but 
takes batteries is when it take like rechargeable batteries like you can get all kind of different ones but i usually use my v1 but right now i have the v860 with me but this is also godox space so i can also flash on my trigger but super like it's a super portable man you know just put in your bag you don't have to worry about it just keep it going you know but definitely i say you have to have one of these in your bag if you're a professional photographer especially if you're going around different places if you're not just studio work next thing is my 2470 this is my baby right here um you know I'm cheating my 7200 with this right here this is like the only other lens you need you really only need your 2470 you need your 7200 probably making a video about that um later on so you guys can check that out but this thing is i mean it's it is what it is if you don't know what a 2470 is you probably need to do your research yeah you know i mean this thing is does everything weddings portraits studio outside indoor outdoor whatever you guys need it to do it's a jack of all trades it is like the perfect lens does everything so definitely you, you need to pick up a lens and you only have a specified budget i would say get your 2470 first before you get any other lens definitely this is like probably number one essential on the list for me specifically i use a i think this is a rtef lens adapter um, some of you guys aren't going to need this because you're doing like native lens, like native arts or whatever, but you know, whatever you use, whether that's Sigma, Tamron, there's a lot of like great, like alternative lenses that aren't like, um, native to your camera that you can use that you can just adapt over or just adapt from like old gen to like new gen. So definitely get you an adapter, uh, save us some money too on like new glass because RF lenses are stupid expensive. So I'll get you some EF glass, save you a lot of time, save you a lot of money. Next essential, your SD, oh I'm gonna keep that in too. <laughs> your SD cards, <laughs> um, pouch, holder, container, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, this thing is clutch, man. You know, just keep all your stuff, uh, safe i think some of these are they come in like waterproof they can come like fire resistant if you're like super like skeptical about your uh, sd cards but yeah super nice um this actually isn't mine this is my homeboys i'm borrowing it for the video mine is somewhere stashed somewhere you know i'm just rocking out on number vibes but yeah get you one of these man if you want to make sure sd cards are super safe and protected so look man I'm not putting this big joke in my bag every day, but sometimes you gotta put the big strobe in your bag, man. You know, just have your little stand to go with it when you're on the road. But definitely, uh, this is a Godox 8400 Pro. Name's right here, but definitely great light. Um, used to be my favorite strobe until the 600 came out. Now I, I, I like, like, I love the. Used to be my favorite strobe until the 600 came out. Now I love the 600. So the four is cool. It's not my favorite anymore, but it's super reliable. It's like durable, man. I've dropped this thing a couple times and it just works. So get your 400, it works, man. Or just some other form of strobe that can fit in your bag and not be too bad. I know the AD, AD200 Pros are pretty good as well. So you guys are looking for what's holding everything on this table. It's my, it's my bag. This is my, I think it's what, tomorrow's filmmaker bag. Big suitcase bag. Um, I'm gonna have to get the name for you guys. I'm just gonna put it like right here or something. But it is a great bag. It was kind of expensive. Um, I got it as a Christmas gift. Comes with wheels. It's like a suitcase. It's like super efficient. It has like all kind of like different, um, has all kind of different pou pouches and like SD card slots and like just different things that you can just, you know, looks and crannies that you can just fill in different um, camera gear in. And it's like super nice and you can change around how it's built and how you want it set up to be. But definitely I recommend getting something that's pretty big, pretty durable, pretty reliable because I mean, all this stuff is super expensive, like stupid expensive. So it's like, man, you gotta make sure that you're putting something together where it's like, you know, if I was to drop this bag, I need to make sure that it can hold everything that's in this bag comfortably and safely. So definitely don't cheap out on the bag. Get something nice on the bag for sure. So there you have it, guys. That was what's in my bag in 2022, probably 2023 as well. But I'll be back to make another video then if I have any updates with my bag.
All right, man, that's the end of the video, bro. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe, like, do all that towards the bottom. Thank you guys for coming with me and looking at what's in my back in 2022 slash 2023. I'll be back in 2023 for a different video, but thank you. Have a good rest of your day, man.